So today, I'm going to show you how to hook up a single switch for a light, also known as a single pulse switch. So let's get started. So what I'm going to show you here is the nail-on single gang box and it has these two little spacers that stick out on the box as you see here and here so what you do is you push those against the front of the 2x4 and then you nail on the box and that should give you the right amount of space sticking out for the drywall so this is the switch line you put that in and then if you have a hot out you put that in and then you take your hot in and you put that in your box you want to go about six inches or so and you just take your razor knife and you strip off the coating. You just want enough to have plenty of room to work. And if you make it too long, you can trim it down. And you want to make sure you keep that switch line black wire separated from your hot wires so I put a little loop on it to mark it for now so I don't confuse it with these other two black wires so now that all that's done you want to strip off the ends of your two hot wires to mark them as hots and then twist your ground wires together about midway down trim off two of the ends and then this is a pack of green wire uh, ground wire wire nuts that I like they've got a hole in the top so you, you can twist it down over your ground wires and it leaves one out and then you just want to strip your neutrals off and then twist the copper together Just get a nice twist on it and trim off the ends and then you just take a regular wire nut and twist that on then you just want to stuff all this into the box and you're this is our single pole switch it's got the ground screw and the top and bottom are separate the top has a screw and a hole and so does the bottom okay so after you have your drywall or whatever you have hung up come back and you pull your black wires out and your ground wire so you just want to wrap your ground wire around the green screw and tighten it down now you have your two stripped off wires go together so you strip one and curl one put the curled one around the screw and then you strip off your single switch line wire and you just stuff it in the back and you can put the whole assembly into the box screw it down and then you can put a plate on it and you're done and part two so that's how you hook up the single pulse switch it's fairly simple and now that we have power we see that it works well thanks for watching and if you enjoyed this video I appreciate it if you subscribe and check out one of these other videos and I'll see you next time. Should I mention that we're going to do three-way switches next time?